Swaging sleeves for steel cable assemblies is one of the most commonly performed rigging functions for lighter duty applications. Today, I'll teach you everything you should know so you can safely and correctly swage sleeves for your application. We're often asked whether it is better to form an eye with hourglass sleeves or with wire rope clips. The advantages of using hourglass sleeves is that they're stronger, they're more cost effective, and they also don't require any future maintenance of retorquing or tightening nuts. As you can see here, they're also a lot more streamlined than wire rope clips. Where rigging products are concerned, swaging refers to the process of using a tool or machine to apply force to a sleeve or ferrule so that it will be compressed onto and around a portion of cable. When forming swaged cable assemblies, there are primarily two types of wire rope that are used, 7x7 and 7x19 strand cable. The shape of the cable isn't perfectly round and is made of several strands of wires. Shown here is quarter inch 7x19 hot dip galvanized cable. 7x19 refers to the cable having six outer strands surrounding a center core strand that counts as the seven. Each strand is composed of 19 smaller wires. If you look closely, you can see the V-shaped area between the strands. This is referred to as a valley. Most commonly, aluminum hourglass sleeves are used with hot dip galvanized cable to form cable assemblies. The aluminum is soft and when compressed by the swaging tool, will be forced into the valleys of the cable, thereby locking the sleeve into place. To begin forming your swaged cable assembly, first make an eye by passing the cable through the sleeve and then doubling it back. Before swaging, position the cut end of the cable so that it protrudes from the sleeve for a length that is at least two cable diameters. This will allow for full contact with the cable when the sleeve expands during swaging. Place the sleeve into the tool jaws. Note the proper orientation of the swage tool cavity with the aluminum sleeve. The sleeve should always be vertically aligned and never horizontal. With the sleeve in the proper position, make your first swage by squeezing the swage tool handles together until the jaws are completely closed. For each sleeve size, there is a prescribed number of swage crimps that must be made. In the case of this quarter inch sleeve, it requires four swage crimps. Be sure to leave a small space in between each of the crimps. While the quarter inch sleeve in our demonstration required four swages, different size sleeves will require a different number of swages. Two swages will be required for sizes 1 16 and 3 30 seconds, for sizes 1 8 and 5 30 seconds, three swages will be required. Three sixteenths and quarter inch sleeves will require four swages. And five sixteenths and three eighths sleeves will require five swages. When making multiple swages, it is important to follow the correct sequence for each side sleeve. The diagram here can be referenced for the swaging sequences of different size sleeves. To make sure the swage crimps are done properly, use the after swage gauge provided with the swage tool. Using the corresponding gauge cavity, slide the gauge over the sleeve. If the gauge turns around the swage crimp area freely, you then know it was done properly. If the gauge does not slip over the swage crimp area, then use the tool to swage the sleeve again so that it is compressed fully. When swaged properly, the strength of this termination is 90% of the breaking strength of the cable. For vinyl coated cable, it is never recommended to swage over the outside of the vinyl coating. Doing so will make a much weaker termination. What is recommended is to cut the vinyl back far enough to make sure the sleeve contacts the cable directly. Using the same swaging method, a lap splice can be performed to join two pieces of cable together. Be sure to leave a small area in between each of the sleeves and extend the cable ends on each side beyond the outer edge of the sleeve by at least two times the cable diameter. The same number of swage crimps are required per sleeve as are required when making an eye loop. 
Apart from aluminum, e-rigging also carries zinc copper hourglass sleeves. Zinc copper sleeves are what is recommended for stainless steel cable. It is important to note that aluminum sleeves are not recommended for stainless steel cable because of the possibility of the aluminum corroding when in contact with stainless steel. And over time, the contact between the sleeve and the cable may weaken. At e-rigging, we carry the Tyler Tool brand of hand swagers. There are five different sizes and each come with a drop forged head and are powder coated with durable rubber handles. The 14 inch size Swages 1 16th, 3 32nds, and 1 8th inch sleeves. The 24 inch tool swages 1 16th, 3 32nds, 1 8th, 5 32nds, and 3 16th inch sleeves. The 30 inch tool swages 5 32nds, quarter inch, and 5 16th inch sleeves. And our 36 inch tool only swages 3 8 inch sleeves. Like the 24 inch tool, our bench swager swages 1 16th, 3 32nds, 1 8th, 5 32nds, and 3 16th inch sleeves. For more information on our swage tools, please visit our website. We hope this video has cleared up any questions or concerns you might have regarding the proper procedure persuading sleeves for steel cable assemblies. If you do have any further questions, please feel free to contact us on our website. And please subscribe to our YouTube channel for more information on various rigging topics. I'm Tyler with eRigging. Thanks for watching.